hope you're all very well. Welcome to my film and TV channel. Today we have a movie review. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I think this is available straight to stream on Netflix as I'm recording this at the moment. Uh, I have only seen it very recently. I think it's been available for a, a little while now. But uh, I thought I'd give it a watch yesterday because it sort of cropped up. And I thought, oh, I'll watch this because it's getting sort of rave reviews. So it's a drama, 93 minutes uh, long. And it's from Film 4, Fable Pictures and Headgear Films. And today I'm going to look at a little film called Rocks. R-O-C-K-S. Rocks. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification so you know when these vlogs are coming out. Make sure your notifications are set to public so you get to hear about these as well. And please, I'm after, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. I'm doing well. We get, we're getting there slowly, slowly, over 40 ish short now. So I'm trying to get 500 subscribers by Christmas 2020 and onwards and upwards from there, hopefully. So please, if, you can, if you're not subject, please do so and please tell your friends or people, you know. Uh, and if you check my playlist, there's lots of stuff on there, but you'll also see vlogs on my football team as well. So if that's of any interest to you or anyone, you know, please point it in my direction. It'll be absolutely fantastic. My football team in Manchester City, so I do history vlogs and quizzes and city present stuff, etc, etc. So there's tons of stuff on there. So please, uh, that'll be fantastic. Please, any comments are always welcome if you've seen this film. I just want to come out anything in general. It's uh, That's no problem. That's fantastic. And if you can't give, leave, give a comment, please just leave, give us a thumbs up. That'll be fantastic. Right, yes, rocks. Uh, yeah, 93 minutes. It's got a runtime about 88 minutes when, once you take out the credits. And it's a British film. It's a British coming of age drama film. Uh, I think it's. I think she's a new new director. I think it's a debut. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I think it's someone to comment. Some uh, a name to look out for. Uh, Sarah Gavron. It's directed by, and the film stars Bucky Bakray as Alu Shola, nicknamed Rocks, a black British teenage girl in London whose troubled single mother abandons her and her younger brother, Emmanuel D'Angelo Ose Kisiedu, Kisi, Kisi please, my apologies if I pronounced that wrong, pronounce that wrong, forcing them to fend for themselves and try to avoid being taken into care by the authorities with the help of loyal friend Sumaya, played by Kosa Ali, and some others. And this is where it looks impressive. Rotten Tomatoes, 98%, 98% positivity rating based on 47 reviews with 46 fresh and just one rotten, just one. I mean, I'll, uh, I will actually tell you what that sort of reads as later. Uh, yeah, and the actual consensus on Rotten Tomatoes, where they sort of, the critics all put their minds together, all those big heads together. A fresh, funny, coming-of-age story. I, I don't know where they got the funny from, to be honest with you, on that one. I, I didn't find much to laugh about in this, to be honest with you. A fresh, funny, coming-of-age story rooted in realistic characters an anchor with a meaningful message. Rocks is as solid as its title suggests. And the audience, yeah, they liked it as well. Not quite as much as the critics, but that's got it's got an 87% from the audience as I'm recording this. Uh, but that's only based on 15 people leaving a score. Uh, the meta score, the Metacritics, up to they think, well, yeah, we've got a positivity of 96%, so still quite high. And it's averaging 7.5 out of 10, which is uh, a pretty good score, 7.5 out of 10 from the critics. And some of the, I think the lowest is 7.5. Yeah, the lowest is actually at mark is 7.5 out of 10. So how, how that became the average, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, statistics and all that. But anyway, the Hollywood reporter Stephen Farber, he gave it 8 out of 10 and said, this potent work about stolen childhood deserves attention because of the freshness of the cast and because it confirms that Gavron is a director to watch. Yeah, Empire magazine, obviously one of the go-to guys when I look at movie reviews, you will seldom find a film that cuts open a city and shows you it's in its inside like likes like rock does rocks does respectively crafted righteously funny and tender again I, I, I don't know i must have missed the funny bits in this film gavron has defined a generation like no one else and these efforts are not to be ignored Internet Movie Database, Joe Public, the you and me, the users, the people who watch this, over 1,100 reviews have been left and scores, 1,133. And again, a very healthy, very healthy score, it's averaging 7.6 out of 10. 
Some of the comments acted very well and a great story of friendship. Yep, uh, I don't think the acting was great, but it's all it's all in this inexper either inexperienced actors or people who've obviously never acted before. I mean, obviously there's, there's certain things like a teacher plays a teacher and things like that. So that, that's the level you get. So you have to allow for not the greatest, not the greatest acting, but uh, not a bad little job. And someone else commented, a raw look at life below the surface of inner city London. Performance is so good from a young teenage cast that it almost feels as if they are real and you're watching a documentary. Passionate, heartfelt sadness and moments of joy all mixed together for what should be compulsive viewing a great film. Beautifully acted London tale, said someone else. This film is like every great film. High praise. Multifaceted, which means it has resonance that is almost universal. It's about a black girl. It's multiracial. It's about children born of recent immigrant families. It's about coming of age. It's about being a girl. It's about mental health with limited support for families affected. It's about a brother and a sister. It's about working classes. It's urban. It's London. It's Hackney. It's amazing. And the story of Rocks and Emmanuel made me cry. Well, there you go. I mean... <laughs> Some some uh, sort of uh, poignant, some sort of very deep words there and deep reviews, obviously, for this thing. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to give you my little thoughts on this now. And Jen thoughts, so if you can bear with me while I go through this. I mean, it is an interesting film. Uh, it's, not, it's sort of borderline for the sort of films I, really, I sort of enjoy as such now. I mean, I'm certainly not in the demographic, am I? Uh, I don't think it's quite as good as I was the saying, to be honest. I'm going to, I'm going to sort of book the trend with this. So I, I certainly wasn't under... I liked it, but I wasn't totally convinced about the happy ending. Uh, although, it was, say, it was nice to see, but I wasn't totally convinced in real life. It, it, you know, and all these people saying it's quite true to life. I wasn't quite convinced about that, in all fairness. Um, perhaps I'm a pessimist about UK society as it stands. Um, although I like to think the ending... Uh, to the story that is sad but at times uplifting will be pleasant i'm not so sure it would have been as depicted in this movie to be honest with you yet yeah, but it is a film it's you know it's not it's not real life it's not a documentary but so there you go perhaps perhaps it was to, to prove a point they, they left this ending and there's grit in the film but i felt it was just a little bit watered down it's got a 12a certificate this so I think, uh, yeah, I would have been happier. I know it sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? I would have been happy with a 15 certificate, a bit uh, not so much watered down. It didn't seem to want to really go into all the dark corners. I think this this girl and her young brother may have been may have faced in actual reality if this was a, a true to life film, which some some are claiming it is. I just I just think it didn't want to go into those dark corners. And as such, I mean, this is where you get the 12A, 12A rating from. I would have thought a 15 rating or an 18 rating if it had just delved a little bit deeper, a little bit darker into perhaps what could have happened or what may have happened. As I said, it's not a true story. So, yeah, I think I think it is a little bit watered down. Um, as you know, yeah, I judge films on entertainment and I'm, I'm always a sucker for a happy ever after ending. But... Uh, uh, I just believe it should have been a lot harder to get to that happy ever after ending. To be honest, I don't. I just don't think it was powerful enough in the meantime. Uh, did this reflect real life in London or a big inner city? I'm not. I'm not so sure. I mean, from my limited knowledge of inner cities and and town and watching TV and the news and reading reading articles and watching real life. Um, but I have read glowing review after glowing review from both the public and the critics. But I mean, it's not, it's, you know, it's obviously 7.6, 7 is it, out of 10 from Internet Move Database. So there are people who didn't like it, obviously, to, to bring it to that rating. But obviously the critics are probably of an eight, and obviously they're not as old as me, most of the critics who've left the reviews, but uh, they're all older than perhaps uh, the demographic this film is aimed at. So they've all, they've all had to adapt and try and assume certain things. Uh so perhaps I'm wrong, I don't know. I, f I mean, I found one, one good part I found of the film was the juxtaposition of the girls stood watching the children play in a schoolyard in Hastings, which is uh, pretty perfect uh, as a reflection on the UK, really. In that. And the, the comment was made by one of the girls in this little gang that they're in the sunken place. So if you look that up in the dictionary, I had to, to find out what they meant by it. And it's something to do with that Get Out film as well. Um, 
but that sort of felt a bit more real to me, that Hastings thing. I thought, I thought the actual cleverness of that was very, very good in the film. I, I did enjoy that, and that was towards the end of the film. So it did sort of uh, lift it up a little bit for me because I thought it was quite a clever film and quite clever editing and directing and uh, quite clever writing, that, that's, that side of it. Um, yeah, I don't for one minute think this film is made at my demographic, but, I'm, but I am comfortable with the positivity uh, for the teens that this is aimed at, um, obviously the teen audience, which I think this is geared for. But, and obviously you don't always get positive endings with teen teen, uh, teen dramas, do you, unfortunately? Um, but again, it might be my age, but there are some questionable at times, let's be honest, there are little illegal things and dishonest things going on that these, these girls and various people do. Uh, and it seems to be the norm. It seems to be there's no consequence for it. And I, I do worry about that in our society at the moment. They do seem to think that no one's got, you know, someone has to pay for things down the line, you know, whether through taxes or obviously uh, ourselves through being, if you like, uh, scammed, etc. And, you know, ordinary people are getting this, people who can't afford it. And these sort of things are glossed over as though it's a, it's a you know, it's just, ha you know, they seem to be happy in this film to sort of gloss over things like that. I mean, the overall, it was nothing to do with the story, nothing to do with about the brother and sister trying, trying to survive. And obviously after the mother had left them, but there's the little, little girls in the gang that obviously were involved in certain things that affect other people. And they were sort of skirted around as though it was a norm. And that does scare me a little bit in, in and certainly if uh, people are seem quite happy that that's normal it does i don't like it i'll i'll admit as i say i'm obviously it's probably a generational thing it's not something i would agree to just looking at that rotten tomato comment that uh, the the only the one who gave it a rotten comment uh, they went on to say Sarah Gavron's Rocks is a film that hopes to harken back to director Andrea Arnold's Fish Tank. Yeah, I enjoyed Fish Tank, uh, to be honest with you, but can't seem to make us care for its leading lady and the questionable decisions she makes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I would agree slightly with that. Again, it may be an age thing, um, and all the lead, although the lead does try to do the right thing, I, I didn't particularly like her either. I didn't, I didn't particularly like her or her friends. Uh, as I said, but that's probably just me and just a generational thing. As a film, I just think it backed out of things. I just think it. I, th I just think it skirted round stuff. I think it. I think it could have been a lot better. Is it better than the often mentioned Fish Tank? Have you seen Fish Tank? Please go back and watch Fish Tank. It's a very very good film. Uh, most reviews and scores seem to say it is a little bit better than Fish Tank. Not for me. Um, I thought Fish Tank was much was a much better film. Obviously, from memory, it was quite a few years ago now when I watched that. But uh, yeah, it does get an extra point from me for the for the positive ending. I thought the end. Of, I thought the last ten minutes was very very good. Uh, as I said, I wasn't overly convinced with the rest of it. To be honest with you, they, they, they didn't. They, it was a good story, and it, it that last bit made it more watchable, allowing for the allowing for the limited limited acting experience. Uh, as I said, I'm not sure it got deep enough into the situation and it certainly nowhere near blew me away like it seems to have blown many people away. Um, I just think the story could have been so much better than it was and I think it could have been a bit more grit. I, think, I just think it could have been grittier, but obviously that's not obviously not the market it's aiming for. I think it's aiming for the young teens and to get them to the cinema or get them to watch it on DVD. Whether they will or not is another matter, but uh, obviously it's with the young girls. It's aimed at that sort of generation, isn't it? I say not. To, don't always do things the right way, in my opinion. But hey, that, that's just that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. I never try and get too political or anything in these things. As I say, it's it's a film for entertainment. As a film for entertainment, it was okay. As I say, but I'm just not I'm just not convinced like a lot of people seem to be by it. So I'm going to give it my basic watchable rate. I'm going to give it the watchable rating of six out of ten, which is you know if you if you watch my vlogs is my sort of basic score. So I wouldn't put you off watching it. As I say, if you if you do like these sort of uh, modern day things, uh, teenagers and how they're getting on and obviously what they get away with, and everyone seems happy about it.
fair enough that's <laughs> that's okay i'm not but that's that's me the poster yeah the poster is pretty rubbish isn't it? i mean <laughs> be all right the girl i mean the people who starred in the film probably like it the girls that were in the film but i think it's a, it's, i think it's a pretty rubbish poster to be honest i think they could have been more done of the uh, brother sister uh, thing on the poster rather than the showing the gang sort of thing you know so i'm gonna give the poster five out of ten so i'll give the victory six out of ten but please let me know in the comments what you think please watch this and let me know i'm a is it me? I say I'm 61 now. Obviously, it didn't. Uh, this is a sort of film that perhaps if I wasn't doing a review, it sort of would have been last, last for me to look at. But I thought with it getting such great scores, I thought I had to watch it and and tell you what I thought. And just let me know in the comments what you think. Anyway, as I say, it's just a, it's all opinions. As I say, I, I just think they were a bit over the top with the praise for this film. And I would certainly, if you said to me, go back and watch a film, I'd probably go back and watch Fish Tank again rather than watch this one. Although, as I said, I did like the last perhaps 10 minutes. I think it was very, very well done. And very, you know, the juxtaposition, the, 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 how it was filmed was, was excellent the last 10 minutes. But uh, I wasn't so sure with the rest getting there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please check my links on screen. If you follow me on from, uh, Facebook, or Twitter, or friend me, or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I do check every couple of days, and I follow and friend everyone back. That'd be fantastic. You can check out my website. As I said, I used to have a video shop in the 90s and 2000s in Manchester. I still sell old and rare DVDs, movie posters from them that era, 90s and the 2000s, and board games as well on moviegamenostalgia.com. So if you have a look on there, absolutely fantastic. And please, if you're bored, have a look at the playlist, see what else is out there. Lots of reviews and quizzes. If you fancy a quiz and say, well, as I'm recording this, we're sort of partially through another little lockdown. So... Uh, if you're looking for something to watch, and please, if you're looking for someone to tell, hey, give Bernard a watch, he's all right. I try and entertain and inform, as I say, it's, uh, and it's all opinions, isn't it? So I'd love to hear your opinion anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, anyway. Please, whatever you're going to do with the rest of the day, have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. Until we meet again on the Film and TV channel, or perhaps on the Citizen channel over my other side there with the football. This is Bernard saying, please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.